Good morning. This is day three of Thy Kingdom Come. And the days between, between Ascension and Pentecost have always been full of expectation and anticipation. As the Lord Jesus ascended and returned to God the Father, he promised the gift of the Holy Spirit to enable the disciples and us today to be witnesses. As the disciples waited for the promise to be fulfilled, they devoted themselves constantly to prayer. Acts 1.14 says they all joined together. This depicts unity. And they were constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. So over the ten days leading to Pentecost, there is a renewed call across the church to pray. And we have been encouraged to pray for five people to come to know the love of Christ. And so, as we go into this third day, the verse that is stated in the prayer journal is, is 1 John 4, 9 to 10, verse 19. Uh, God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. We love because he first loved us. And day three is all about being first loved and giving thanks. It's so powerful to think that even we didn't, we didn't know or care about God. God loved us. God doesn't love us because we do things right or dislike us because we do things wrong. The revolution of God's love for us is that it cannot be earned. God just loves us. It is a pure gift. Just as God loved us before we knew it, so God works for all, whether they know it or not. God is working in everyone's life. That's including you and me. Some people see it, some people don't. God's love acts for all. But what God wants more than anything is for us to recognise and welcome it. The calling of Christians is to be those who point out how God is already at work in their lives. It is a calling to be channels, not creators of God's love. A lot of food for thought there, but this morning, you and I, we are loved. And this is the prayer. Loving God, we thank you that you loved us before we loved you. We recognise your love for us today and choose to love you too. Thank you for my friends. Please open up my friends' eyes to your love. Please open their spiritual eyes and their spiritual ears. Speak to them in dreams in the middle of the night. Help them come to a spiritual understanding and a practical understanding in their heart and mind that they are loved and that they need Jesus and that Jesus can be their Saviour and Lord. I pray for those friends right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you've said that as we seek you and as we call on you, you will answer us. Father, we thank you for this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, it's easy to take people for granted and we are to find ways today that we can demonstrate to those who we are praying for how grateful we are for them being in our lives. Think about something practical that you're able to do for them today. Thy kingdom come. That means heaven comes down to earth. 
not just because of Jesus, but because we are here with Jesus working through us. I hope you have a great weekend. Please join us again on tomorrow as we continue on with thy kingdom come and let us believe God for an awesome Pentecost. God bless you all.